Hey everybody, Dawn McGee, your nutrition evangelist. I work with women who are ready to make their health a priority and just need a little guide so they can get off the sidelines and back to doing all of the things that bring them joy. I like to say I put the fun back into being healthy and today I am on my soapbox because I have been hearing so many women lately talk about how it's okay to give up something for a season so that they can get whatever they want in the longer term, whether that's losing weight or feeling healthy or whatnot, giving up their carbs, giving up their wine, giving up fruit. And I want to put my foot down and say that there is never an occasion where it's okay to give up a food group. And yeah, for me, that includes my wine. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you should be drinking a bottle of wine every day, but if you're going to have a glass of wine with dinner, make sure it's a good quality, clean crafted wine. And yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. Give up fruit. Oh my heavens. Think of all the micronutrients that you will be missing by giving up fruit. Um, it's just not healthy. There is no world in which giving up a food group is healthy for you. Weight is not our end all be all goal. Yeah, it's absolutely a data point, but what we really want is for our internal health to be at its optimal level because then the external health will follow. So I love all sorts of fruits and vegetables. Fruits more than vegetables. I'll be honest. Um, I am a carnivore. I eat meat. Uh, that doesn't mean that you have to. Um, I generally have a glass of wine with dinner at night. Doesn't mean you have to, but if you do, make sure that you're having stuff that feeds your body. I take care to have uh, grass-fed beef. We, we get it from a, a Walden local. We get delivered once a month. Uh, we get fresh eggs delivered from Walden Local. Um, I even eat the bacon that comes from Walden Local because it is so good and it's so different than what you get in so many other places. When the flavor really comes through, it's really different and it's yummy. Um, we get fresh fish delivered. You've heard me talk about this. Um, so yes, I love my fish. Um, and while we don't do a CSA because it's a little bit too much for our small family, I do make sure that I'm getting fresh produce every week. And I drink clean crafted wine from Scout and Cellar. No added sugars, no added sulfites. It's got a nutrition label on the back. How great is that? If your wine doesn't have a nutrition label on the back, you may want to rethink that wine that you're drinking. My point is this, giving up stuff to reach a health goal, giving up stuff that is is nutritious, it, nutritious, say that three times fast, um, is not being healthy. It's not serving your body and it's certainly not serving your soul. So the next time somebody says to you, hey, look what I did. All you have to do is give up your X, Y, and Z and it's only for a season. I encourage you to turn to them and say, no, I can be healthy without having to give up X, Y, Z. I'm going to make some healthy swaps. I'm going to do things that feed my body and feed my soul. And I am going to be healthy without giving up anything. That is my soapbox for today. If you have questions about how to do that in practical terms, tag me message me, post the question down below, because this is what we do. We empower you to make your health a priority so that you can do all the things that bring you joy. And I'm going to assume that includes eating good food and drinking good wine if you are watching my video. So until next week, what I hope for you is that you live a life you love without being hungry, without feeling deprived, and without giving up your glass of wine with dinner. Until next week, ciao.